the British military hospital personnel who saved 50 foreign servicemen in Gibraltar were honored by the dictator they would be warring with in a matter of months. Adolf Hitler awarded German Red Crosses emblazoned with the Nazi swastika to those who treated 55 of his wounded sailors injured in the Spanish Civil War. The Deutschlandship was hit by two bombs off Ibiza when it was targeted by Republicans in 1937 as they resisted Spanish dictator General Franco. The UK Army personnel saved all but five, inspiring high praise from the Führer himself. Share this article. Share. Four of the medals given by the fascist leader are still held in British museums, two at Ashvale's Museum of Military Medicine in Surrey. One is at Belfast's Royal Ulster Rifles Museum, and another is at Lincolnshire's Spalding Gentlemen's Society. Others have been auctioned off. They hark back to an era in which the British establishment was keen to appease Hitler. The monarch's permission is required for service personnel to receive foreign medals, and the king allowed them to be accepted and worn in the interests of political expediency. Colony Governor General Charles Tim Harrington told German Admiral Rolf Karls at the time, I shall always treasure the fact that the last honor I can receive comes from the nation for which I have the most profound respect. I hope that you will express to Der Feuer my deepest thanks for this great honor," he added. The Germans awarded Red Cross medals to 37 Brits, 20 of whom were awarded the Ladies' Cross. Pat Robbins, now 87, was a schoolgirl at the time. The daughter of the Royal Army Medical Corps' Major Charles Anderson, she told The Times, it was a posh day. She recalls the ferociously capable matron Margaret Russell Madge Caswell from Gosperton, Lincolnshire. Winston Churchill himself signed the documents that acknowledged Madge's gallantry when he was a government minister. She was mentioned three times dispatches during the Great War. Hitler ordered that she be awarded the German Red Cross, making her one of the few people commended by the Nazi leader as well as his greatest wartime adversary. 23 people died instantly, and 100 were wounded in the air bombing. Two years later it sank the Stonagate, a British merchant vessel, in the North Atlantic.